The US ambassador to South Korea, Mark Lippert, was slashed in the face and hand by a Korean assailant at a breakfast meeting to discuss Korean reunification in Seoul early on Thursday. Blood was left spattered over the table as the assailant, wearing traditional Korean clothing, attacked the 42-year-old with a knife. But despite the large amounts of blood, Mr Lippert was able to walk after the attack as he was taken to hospital. The assailant, who has been identified as 55-year-old Kim Ki-jong, was restrained by security and arrested. He was taken to a nearby hospital, shouting that North Korea and South Korea should be reunited and that he was opposed to war exercises in an apparent reference to annual joint US-South Korean military exercises that began this week. In a statement on Twitter, Mark Lippert said that he is recovering and looking forward to returning to the work of advancing the US alliance with South Korea. Meanwhile, a South Korean conservative group rallied against the aggression, condemning the assailant and burning pictures of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. But North Korea branded the assault as deserved punishment for the US conducting military drills in the region.